Hello and welcome, I am Sir Shudder. Before we begin, if you enjoy my content please like and subscribe and hit the notifications icon to see when I've done another video. Have you ever heard of gibbeting? A gibbet is any instrument of public execution including guillotines, executioner's block, impalement stake, hanging gallows or related scaffold. But gibbeting refers to the use of gallows, a gallows type structure of which the dead or dying bodies of criminals were hanged on public display to deter other existing potential criminals. Occasionally the gibbet was also used as a method of execution with the criminal being left to die of exposure first and and or starvation. The term gibbet may also be used to refer to the practice of placing criminal on display within a gibbet. The practice is also called hanging in chains. The Billstone Gibbet In Leicestershire along a minor road to the village of Billstone a little-known piece of local history has stood for over 200 years, a gibbet, used only for w once for a rare, tragic murder in the village. Located along Gibbet Lane, just outside Bilston Village, it is standing by the side of a little lay-by. It can be easily missed if you are not looking for it. A gibbet refers to the use of gallows type structure from which the dead or dying bodies are execute, of executed criminals were hanged on public display to deter the other existing potential criminals. It fell into disuse in the UK around 1830. <coughs> Excuse me. John Massey, born in 1750. John Massey lived at Keeper's Cottage, just a few miles south of Billstone. He was a farmer and labourer, and also a wrestler. He got the nickname Topsy Turvy because when he was wrestling, he would throw his opponents over his shoulders. He was a generally held to be a hard-drinking, short-tempered man. His first wife, Sarah, had died in 1797. He had remarried with his new wife Lydia, already having a 10 year old daughter, having returned home drunk one night, he started violently arguing with his wife. Tragically, after physically assaulting Lyn Lydia, he threw her into the river, in which she later died of her injuries. The daughter tried to intervene and was also thrown in, but escaped unharmed. She later testified against him. John Massey was arrested, charged with murder and sentenced to be hanged. John Massey is executed. The gibbet was erected in March 1801 to hold the corpse of John Massey. He was executed at Red Hill, Burstall, very close to where the petrol station stands today. Outside Leicester on the 23rd of March that year, the body was brought to Billstone that day after the execution. It was then wrapped around with chains and hung from a metal ring fixed to the top of the post and it stayed as a dreadful warning to local people and passers-by year after year until being removed in 1818, at which point only a partial skeletal skeleton remained. The gibbet today on a sunny summer afternoon in the tranquil countryside with a bird song being the only sound in, it would seem a pleasant enough spot but 200 years ago it must have been a disturbing sight being close to the village teenagers would often tell ghost stories and travel to the gibbet see how close they dared get especially at Hallow's Eve Today, the post is worn and worm-eaten 
about six feet high with some ancient iron bolts still embedded in it. I recommend visiting it in the evening as it creates an unsettling feeling. Strange occurrences around the gibbet. This is taken from an article written on one of the websites. A brief aside from myself, a friend of mine back in the late 1980s used to go out in the area to watch the stars. As he was keen, a keen astronomer, one night he was in the area when a car pulled up at the post. A screech was heard and then the car drove off. My friend went to look and saw that a chicken had been killed there. Most, myself and other friends didn't really believe him so we went out in his car one night to look. We found the post and as we were driving away two cars overtake, overtook us and then stopped side by side in the road blocking our way. When, we, when both their reverse lights came on my friend did a quick U-turn and we drove off never to return. Very creepy thing to happen out on a deserted country lane at night. I always remembered that sharing it here for what it was worth. There is also a video posted by a lady called Jane Orton on her Facebook page that shows her driving around to where the gibbet post is. Enjoy. i 
did you enjoy that if you did if you haven't already please like and subscribe and hit the notifications icon so you can see when I've done another video and I want you to tell all your friends about me until next time I am Sir Shudder see you soon be safe be cool